I think there are probably quite a lot of people who would say to themselves, well, what is the real value of a holiday? And I think the real value is priceless, so I couldn't possibly tell you. Uh, my name's Joan Lawrence, and I'm now 88. I'm the co-founder of the Family Holiday Association. Well, we had various little bits of bad luck, as many families do. Um, we had a daughter that wasn't terribly fit, and we also were helping a brother-in-law run uh, his hotel, but it didn't work out at all well. And we ended up staying with my mother in one room, so my husband was jobless and we were homeless. And we, of course, hadn't ever had a holiday. And a great friend of my husband's, who lived down in Westcliff-on-Sea at the time, he said, would you like to come and borrow our flat whilst we go on holiday and all you need to do is feed the cat? So for three years we did that, by which time my husband was working. And I said to him, do you think it would be a good idea if perhaps one day we started something for other families who are probably a lot worse off than we are? Several years later, when my husband had become a Barnet councillor and councillors had started to get an allowance, we said, let's choose this moment to start it. So we wrote to all the councillors and said, out of your £25 allowance, could you please send us some of it to start this charity? And most of them did. And then we wrote to 19 friends and said, we want to get this charity off the ground. Could you send us 50 quid? And some of them did and some of them didn't. Enough to stay that we had £1,200 in the kitty. So we wrote to the Director of Social Services of Barnet and said, we're in business, we're the Family Holiday Association, we're a registered charity, and if you'd like to send us a family or two, we'll see what we can do. And so that year, 12 families went from the borough of Barnet on a holiday. We're at the beach and I'm going to get my mum to dig a big ditch with me. The sand's really hard and there's people swimming in the sea. And my mum's helping me dig. Because <laughs> I can't do it. Is you lazy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think some people get an idea in their heads that everybody could actually afford a holiday if they worked hard enough and if they put themselves forward actually and got a job. But believe me, it's not like that. There are lots of people who would dearly like to be working and, and these are the kind of families that we help. I thought that would interest you perhaps as one of the sayings that I'm not quite sure who actually produced it but some families have never been away from home together never had a day out together have never seen the sea together have never built a sandcastle together have never had a picnic together but together we can change that for some families the reason why it suddenly became a national charity was because my nephew was and is a photographer and he took a wonderful photograph of three children walking into the sea and it was printed in The Guardian and every social worker, health visitor, etc., etc., who saw the picture, cut it out and said, here's a charity we can send our families on a holiday. And that was how we became a national charity. I think the impact probably of a holiday gives people the enough lift to get them through the next year and improve their lives in many, many directions. Uh, the kids come back with new experiences and um, they've seen new places, they can talk to their friends about it. And the parents, when they're meeting other people, also don't feel left out of it. So 35 years ago, when we founded the charity, we were the only national charity giving grants to whole families. And 35 years on, we are still the only national charity giving grants to whole families. Mm -hmm. 
I suppose more than anything else I would like our legacy to be a load of happy memories. What more could you wish for?